Hello everybody and welcome back to Rogue Tech, where in between episodes there was one vehicle that shot at this gladiator and got a couple of SRM hits, and now they're shooting at this Harris Hawk. But that's pretty much all that we missed while I was changing over episodes there. Nothing too significant as of right now. So this gladiator is relatively intact. This one has a very exposed rear arc. The Clint out over here also has Better. some exposure issues. But for now, I want to get the scimitar moved in over here. Oh. Yeah, that's a good spot. We want to get closed in a bit. These hit odds aren't the best, but we'll take a pot shot here. And we miss. That's reasonably expected. I'm not surprised about that. That's but I want to get the scimitar closing in over this way. Now, of course, we've got our trebuchet, and the trebuchet can position right up over here. We can fire on this gladiator, which has a relatively, relatively weak front. This gladiator, which I think we can kill with a centaur shot to the back. So I would rather actually fire at this guy. We've got a slight overheat alert, so I'm going to drop off these two medium lasers, and we're just going to see what we've got here. That was an internal shot there with that medium laser. Interesting. I want to see exactly what happened there. Ah, okay. We got into this torso. Gotcha. So that'll do it. Now they're calculating the movement on this particular gladiator. That looks good. We shouldn't have any problem with that, but there will be another lance spawning soon. Very soon, in theory. So they're shooting at our Harris Hawk here. It's not our Harris Hawk, so we don't actually care. Yeah, here we go. So we've got another lance on the way in. Sounds like it's on the far side. So that's going to be mildly awkward for us. Um, actually, I'm not sure where it is. Down here. We see a trooper, a hunter, and a fire starter. Okay, it'll take them some time to get there. Our fire support elements can make their way over Something this way. Out. Our centaur at this point is going to move in and attack this gladiator rear arc. Moving out. There we go. We get some burn damage from that. Noted that proto mechs get burn damage. And we're going to eliminate this gladiator Everything point blank rear arc. Kabu. Battle mech down. So that's excellent. That is all quite expected. So our fire support elements, including the scimitar and the two LRM boats, are going to head over and start dealing with the new lance. Hopefully the other two remaining units over here fall relatively quickly. That would be ideal. We'll see what the UAV and the the VTOLs decide to do. So far, they've not done all that much. They've helped out a little bit. But mostly, they've just run in circles, which is, I guess, expected. <laughs> we should definitely expect that from units like this. So that's reasonably fine. What you gonna do? Anything? Okay, the Karnov transport backs off a little bit and does absolutely nothing of note. Next up is going to be the... Did you just reserve? Somebody just reserved an enemy unit. Okay, so we do definitely see a hunter down over here, and yeah, the frame rate drops while it's calculating this, no doubt about that, but... Okay, so that's an IS standard. A tag unit. Noted. That is absolutely noted. So the sprint is going to back off over here. Hang on, did I just see what I think I saw? Yes, I did. Another lance up here. So we see a fire truck, a thunderbolt, an Ostwar, and a Bradford. Now that's noted. Okay, so two lances dropping in there is spicy. No doubt about that. So we're definitely going to have to split up our forces a bit. I think the plan remains the same. Yeah. So they're shooting at this IS standard. I don't expect them to get any real damage there. This is not in vision at all. So that's kind of useless. I don't know why they do that. But whatever. I guess it's uh, covering fire or something. 
<laughs> I don't know if we're going to have all buildings surviving with two enemy lances dropping in like this, especially with this one having a couple heavies. I mean, an Ostwar is... An Ostwar is a heavy, right? I know a Thunderbolt is. I'm pretty sure an Ostwar is. So this Vespa's backing off a bit here and doing basically nothing at all. Okay, helpful. So this is phase 14 here. That'll be like this fire truck. The fire truck is... That's quite armored. Not necessarily from the rear arc, though. So if we can get in behind this fire truck, we can probably kill it pretty quickly. It fires on the sprint and kind of misses everything. So that seems reasonably okay. Now, of course, is going to be our trebuchet. I think that our trebuchet is in a good position right now to just stick up over here, continue to fire perhaps on this gladiator. So what side is this going to be going into? It doesn't really matter. Both are quite weak. Front arc? Okay, sure. Go ahead and fire this. Fire it. That was very solid. So that gladiator is out of here. No problem whatsoever there. Reinforcements will arrive in seven rounds. So the Saladin moves up. These guys are going to have to close in. That trooper moves in a bit. And where's its final position? Okay, noted. For now, that's reasonably fine. Like, if we can scroll over here at the VTOL calculating frame rate, then we can see that this trooper is very, 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 very lightly armored. That is noted. We can probably blow him up with one solid LRM salvo. That's going to be the plan for him. No doubt about that. Okay, so we've got a phase 13 mover here. There are a lot of units just generally on the battlefield right now. Like, a whole lot of units. Most of them are on our side, but most of them are completely useless, which is, you know, helpful. The Clint is going to move up over here, and I would definitely like to get into a position... How much armor does it have in that rear arc? Almost none. Getting in behind the Clint would be good. Yeah, for sure. Okay, so we'll see what ends up happening with this remaining Phase 13 mover. We've nearly got their vanguard eliminated at this point. I want our two lights to move up to threaten the northern lance, I think. The southern lance, I, I think we're going to kind of ignore. Oof, artillery up there right into the center of the base. Okay, that's awkward. So the fire starter can definitely get in behind this Clint here, and I think that's a really, really good plan. So we can do a kick here, and then we could... I don't really... This is giving us an overheat because we're going to move through this fire. I really want to Alpha Strike this Clint. But I don't think we can really get away with it. We're going to do this as it is right now because of moving through the fire. So we get the melee attack in there. I think we hit the leg. And we got some solid rear arc there. Okay, that didn't actually overheat us. It gave us where it was saying it was going to. Okay, sure. That's fine. So next up, of course, this Clint is in significant danger. We just need to get a solid hit on it from almost anywhere. But that Ostwar moves in, and that guy's a real threat. Luckily, he decides to fire on this Harris Hawk, and we don't care about the Harris Hawk. The Harris Hawk is completely fine. Now, I would really like to get this Apollo into a position where it can see this trooper. But that is not an option at this juncture. So, we can position here, and we can have indirect LOS on the Clint, 16%, or direct LOS on the Thunderbolt, 16%. If the hit odds are the same, I would rather fire at the Clint where we have chances of getting solid crits. So, that's what we're going to do. We took out the lower leg there for the Clint. The Cobra strikes. But unfortunately, it's not gone. Okay. We'll also send our scimitar probably over this direction towards the trooper. 
The scimitar would be more than a match for the trooper. I don't know about the rest of the units down here, but this is definitely the lower threat lance to the south. The higher threat lance is to the north. So that's where we're moving most of our resources to deal with. This pack rat is just moving out of LOS. It can't do anything where it's at. So that's fine. What else is going to be moving? Like the cavalry here? I think it'll be the cavalry. Or something very similar. Yeah, the cavalry moves up over here. That looks like an attack position. Fires on that fire truck. That does make that fire truck a more attractive target. Well, this looks spicy. Okay. I'm <laughs> they just are apparently dropping an air or artillery strike on that. That's definitely awkward for us. So the scimitar could engage over there. It could also make its way down this way and start I'm to away. engage or at least Double spot time. spot for for LRMs and such down over this way. That would probably be for the best, and we're going to call that good for now. But uh, this could get spicy. Really, really spicy. We do need to eliminate this Clint, and it's very close to being el eliminated. But that's not, I think, a this round sort of thing. We've gotten all of our moves done here. So at this point, it's pretty much just VTOLs and enemies. We'll see what they do. Cobra Transport moves up, continues to fire on that fire truck. The front armor on that fire truck is starting to get pretty low. The Thunderbolt moves in, but doesn't do anything at all. So that sounds good. Our Centaur is now freed up for an attack on the Clint. And I would love to get a rear arc attack in here. Moving at a and that's sprint. exactly what we're going to do. We're going to get a rear arc attack in on the Clint. I want it gone. Affirmative. So that's one turbo dead Clint. Phenomenal. So there is the Vanguard gone. VTOLs appear to be primarily moving out to the north. Although that Karnov transport moved southward. And now our Scimitar is freed up. So we could position about here, which I think is a good spot way. to be. We don't have LOS on all of this up over here. Keep in mind there's a Hunter, there's an IS Standard, and there's a Fire Starter up over here. So we can fire on this trooper. Hit odds aren't great. But if we do manage to hit it, this trooper has such low armor that we're going to do catastrophic damage if we manage to hit it basically anyway. Welcome to my Alpha Strike. Okay, we just hit it with one SRM. One SRM isn't going to do all that much damage. It's the auto cannon that would have done a lot. So that's fine. We're on phase 14 here, and that Savannah Master is moving up over this way. That's reasonably fine for now. So we've got one of our movements here. That'll be T-Bone. And then we've got three VTOLs and three enemies that are going to be moving here. We'll see how that goes. These guys are going to be moving northward, and the Trebuchet is going to be lobbing attacks up this way. The first priority target here is obviously this fire truck. The fire truck has significantly reduced armor at this time. Okay, they just lobbed a mortar at our Barely centaur right. and fire starter over here. I'm not too concerned about that. Daniel. The Apollo is not in the best of positions right now for dealing with either of these threats. So we're going to move up this direction. And I would like to fire on... Those are good hit odds on the Bradford. And it would be side arc. 100 side arc armor versus 120 in the front arc. Alternatively, we could fire on the Ostwar. Or we could fire on the Thunderbolts. It would be indirect on the fire truck. So 67.9, 67.9. I think we fire on the Bradford and look to get that eliminated. We're probably not going to kill it here unless we get just an a absolutely stunning concentration of fire right into one of these arcs. But we can at least soften it up a bit. So that's exactly what we're going to do there. Looks good. And we've got that pack rat off over there. Yep, that seems reasonably fine. Softening up the Bradford with these long range shots will be extraordinarily useful for us. Yeah, that actually did weaken its armor significantly. 
So that sounds good. We've got a couple of VTools that are going to move now. I want to see them eliminate the fire truck. Is this just indicative of the grenade explosion, or is this indicative of something coming in? We've seen them launch an AoE attack here, and then it has that smoke there. I'm not sure if that's an effect or if that's actually doing something. That said, that fire starter just took significant damage from that attack. The hunter is firing on the cavalry and doing absolutely nothing there. Okay, sounds good. Obviously, the, the high threat lance is to the north, right? These guys down here are pretty low threat. The highest threat unit here, I think, is actually the IS standard. But that fire starter took significant CT damage there. Extraordinarily significant. Wow. Okay, noted. So next up is going to be a phase 12 mover. We don't know when the IS standard moves. And we don't know what exactly is being calculated right now. It's the fire truck. Okay. So the fire truck is going to be moved here. We're going to start moving our lights up to help out over here. We really want to get in behind their heavies. Specifically with our centaur. That centaur is such a strong backstabber. Okay, they're firing on the cobra. That's okay. No major concern there. So looking at the rear arc armor, on this Ostwar, there's not that much. On the Thunderbolt, there's even less. So rear arc armor on these heavies is really not great. I like it. So the Swift Wind moves out of there. That seems okay for now. And we're probably going to look to take this Bradford and Fire Truck out on the way in and then move in behind the Ostwar and Thunderbolt. I think that's going to be the overall plan here. In theory. <laughs> we'll see how that ends up playing out. We've got a bunch of VTOLs that still need to move. This Vespa moves up and fires on the Bradford, getting a large laser hit in there. So that softens up the Bradford's turret. Sadly, it didn't hit one of the places that we had already softened. But even if it had, it wouldn't have penetrated the armor, so that's okay. What else do we got? Okay, so the sprint doesn't really do anything at all. Sure. I mean, does it even have weapons at this point? It has a chem laser. Sure. This yellow jacket moves up. I haven't seen the yellow jacket fire at all either. And what does it even have? A heavy rotary rifle and some rocket 15s. That could do some real damage to their light lance. I would really like to see that engaging down here. Okay. So next up is going to be one of their lights moving. That's reasonably fine. They only have eight units remaining, but the trooper closes in on our scimitar and fires a flamer. That does do a fair amount of damage to the scimitar. System's holding. But for now, it's okay. Next up is going to be what? Well, it's going to be like this cavalry. I would like to see the cavalry, you know, doing something useful. That would be nice. It's got SRM-2s and SRM-6, so it could definitely do some damage to the fire truck or the Bradford. Either of those would be great. It actually moved rear arc and then took out the fire truck. Okay, sure. Yeah, eliminating the fire truck is great. I would have, maybe if we could get rear arc on the Ostwar, I would have chosen to do that. Or is that, yeah, that's the Thunderbolt. Either way, I may have chosen to do that, but... Eliminating the fire truck is good, too. I'm very happy with that. So, yeah, get that fire truck out of there, and we are delighted. What else? Well, now we can move our trebuchet. So, the trebuchet is parking right here, and honestly, I think we just stay put and continue lobbing missiles. So, we're in standard LRM-15, so we could fire on the Ostwar or the Bradford. Obviously, hit odds are better on the Bradford, and let's do it. Position. Structure exposure, crew compartment crit there. So that Bradford is close to being eliminated, but we did not quite take it out. VTOLs may well be able to do that. That's its front arc, and then it's also significantly weakened on its left side. So we hit it from any side, and it could die. I like it. Our next movement is going to be our fire starter. So we're, of course, going to leave this area and make our way up and try to eliminate the Bradford, which has already moved. 
The Ospore is, of course, the Ospore and the Thunderbolt are a little bit dangerous, but honestly, we know that the, uh, the Thunderbolt only has a pair of AC5s. That's not all that much. The Ospore has two energy weapons and three missile weapons. We don't know exactly what those weapons are. So that could be dangerous in theory. The Cobra moves up and fires on the Ospore, but misses. Okay. I mean, at the very worst, it's being a distraction, right? So that's not bad, all things considered. So next up is going to be the Ostwar moving, and then we move our Firestar. The Ostwar moves up, fires at the cavalry. It didn't hit it at all, so I'm actually unable to identify those missiles. I'm not sure what type they are. I would usually identify those based on the amount of damage that they do. So we'll see. The fire starter needs to get out of here and make its way on up. I was hoping it would be able to get in range of the Bradford to at least pot shot it, but at least we can drop some heat there. We were high on heat, so that's why we couldn't move very far. The Thunderbolt moves up and does not attack. And next up is going to be I our Centaur. So the Centaur is going to sprint its way up over here. Accelerating to maximum speed. And now we have a choice. We've got rear arc on the Ostwar. We also can basically guarantee the death of the Bradford. But I'm really tempted to fire on the Ostwar here. We've got a lot of missile weapons. We could theoretically do at least serious damage to it. Right. I'm going to take it. Wow. Okay. So we actually got really solid crits there, and its engine melted down, which caused the Thunderbolt to take a significant amount of heat and stability damage there. That was really solid, and I'm so glad we took that gamble. I am so, so glad we did that. Okay. Next up is Big Sly, who is, of course, our scimitar, and who is way down here. Now, I'm going to position here for the time being. We have eyes on the IS standard, but we have rear arc on this trooper. Now, we thought that the armor on the trooper in the front arc was low. Look at that low low rear arc armor. Beautiful. So that's a leg destruction on the trooper, just right off the bat like that. So that's great. The trooper's knocked down, and it takes quite a lot of damage there. Yeah, that was almost catastrophic damage levels. Wonderful. So I'm a little concerned about the IS standard grappling onto our scimitar. We'll see what ends up happening with that. I'm hoping that these VTOLs over here come and engage and take out the fire starter that's down here. That would be ideal. We'll see what ends up happening with that. But we need to close in with our fire starter and centaur up over this way doing whatever rear arc damage we can to the Thunderbolt. LRMs are going to eliminate the Bradford, for sure. Savannah Master moves down over here. Let me get my bearings. When the frame rate's like this, the camera can sometimes move when I'm right-clicking. Okay, I know where we are right now. Waiting for the frame rate to improve. There we go. Okay, so now this is more like the direction we want to be looking. Cool. So who's going to be moving right now? That's going to be the Bradford. Technically, it might die if it moves through the fire up here, but it would be dumb to do that. It's firing on the Centaur. And it actually got a lot of damage on the Centaur. Practice. Okay. Once again, we're seeing the smoke build up here. I think that's just an effect, not indicating, like, future damage. So the Apollo is positioned here, and out of curiosity... What would we be at if we fired on this trooper? 6.5%. I really feel like we should head this direction, though, I with at win. least one of our fire support mechs and start lobbing some missiles at some of these guys. So what are our hit odds on the fire starter? 14.7, but it would be side arc. We would have to have front arc if I wanted to roll that. 2.9. 4.7 on this knocked down trooper. That feels really low for a knocked down trooper. I guess we'll fire on the fire starter. I think it's theoretically possible to hit the CT from this angle, but it's 
pretty low odds. We'll see what we get out of it. Primitive. Mostly I'm moving over this way to attempt to provide some fire support to this side because we're almost cleaned up on the other side already, believe it or not. So that is all a thing. However, it is about time to put another cut in here. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And next episode, we're going to wrap up this one. You can leave your offerings to the engagement gods in the form of likes, comments, subscribes, and bell ringings. And a very special thank you to all of the channel members for making this video possible, including ALS Gamer, Shadow Wolf, Andy McGar, Spartan News, Nick Smarty, Dimitri H, Punching the Microphone, Soccerman12 UK, Kentogan, and all the rest. And of course, you. Thank you for watching. If you'd like to support the channel, you can click the join button down below the video. And as always, I will see you all next time. And I'll update you if anything happens.